All right, welcome back to the Spirits Path. This is D, and uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different going into uh, 2021. Um, I'm going to try and talk about the yearly card, which is represented by the Ancestor. All right, and the Ancestor is card number five within the Wildwood Tarot deck. And if you think of 2021, when you add up the numbers, two plus two plus one equals five. So this is going to be the year of the ancestor. And the ancestor, you know, she carries the, the wand of wisdom and the drum that summons those that can hear the universal beat. And what this is telling me is that this year, the ancestor um, wants you to follow, you know, the beat that you hear. Okay. Um, she stands in a gateway of birch trees. So, you know, if you are hearing that universal beat to do something different, the, the birch trees are a gateway into a new beginning. Um, this marks a, new, a path of a, a new commitment. You know, how fitting for it to be in the, in the new year. You know, we all make new uh, resolutions and commitments moving forward. And uh, once you pass that plane of the birch trees, there's no turning back. Okay, and uh, there's confirmation that, you know, your journey has started along its path. And there's also a, if you look closely, there is a new moon about to transpire, which is also confirmation, um, you know, that your path is, is, uh, is starting anew, okay? The ancestor is also a guardian of the earth, and it allows you to begin this, this new cycle, okay, that you're going forward. And uh, it's fitting, you know, for 2021 that we're, you know, hoping that, you know, COVID ends and, you know, we can start a new cycle of, you know, new opportunities, new beginnings, you know, a new normal, so to speak. And, um, you know, now it's, a, you know, a shift has occurred. You know, the planetary energies that were out there all moved into a different alignment during 2021. And there's a new energy involved, a new energy of hope, a new energy of you know, opportunity, a new energy of, you know, longing to, you know, be back with society, all right? And it's now time to walk that path that's summoning you. Whatever that universal beat is, okay, that's summoning you. Trust in your intuition and listen to spirit. Let spirit, um, you know, guide you on your new profound journey as you walk past those birch trees, okay? Listening to that universal beat of that drum. Dum, 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 dum. So that's the going to be the 2021 message um, for the year, the ancestor. And I'll keep bringing this up maybe monthly, all right, just to uh, remind you. Um, I'm also going to tie in a monthly card for you. Um, you know, and of course, the, all these readings are, are general. Um, but I'll, I'll tie in a monthly card by sign. And then I'll, uh, after that, I will also do the daily tarot. All right, which is uh, will be attached to this uh, to this yearly tarot. Hello, Scorpio. Here is your tarot card of the month from the Wildwood Tarot deck, and that's a King of Bows and the Adder. And this is a symbolic of you know magical power and healing. Um, as I like to explain the court cards, kings rule the kingdom. All right, and this king is a leader in action. Okay, a, a leader in action with uh, fire, creativity. Uh, leadership abilities, action, all right? And uh, the adder is very charismatic, okay? Um, now, if this is a person in your life, it's you're going to be looking for somebody that's honorable. This could even be you, okay? As you're going through this month of January um, for 2021, all right, you've, you've heard that universal beat. You've walked through, you know, the birch trees, and now it's time to take on those, you know, leadership capabilities that you have, all right? Um, you know, the universe wants you to go down this path and wants you to look for people that can help you with that leadership trait, that leadership skill set, okay? Um, look for somebody that, you know, can help you take charge, okay? Look for somebody that's going to put their, their touch on things, you know, to make things better and learn from that, okay? Um, you know, look for opportunities, you know, where it's going to give you a more positive outlook, okay, or taking a stand, all right, now this king is going to ask you a couple questions. Where do you need to take charge? Where do you need to take charge going into the month of January? 
with what's going on on a project or a relationship or a social setting. You know, and the other question that he asks is, what is, you know, where is your enthusiasm leading you? Okay. Where is your intuition and your enthusiasm leading you down this path in the month of January? All right. So that's the tarot card of the month, the king of bows, the adder, uh, for you, Scorpio. All right. Welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D. And today's tarot card of the day out of the Wild with Tarot deck is the ten of bows and responsibility. All right. And uh, going into this new year, we talked about the ancestor, you know, going into. And, uh, you know, you can transfer this over to your monthly card as well, which I have uh, posted. And, um, you know, the responsibility that we have, just not for ourselves, but our, it's for others, okay? And, you know, we have to recognize the challenge that has been put upon us to carry these bows back up to the community. You know, we all have different responsibilities at work, at home, um, you know, out in society, and it's up to us, you know, to maintain that. Now, those that have put it, that responsibility on us have done so with honor and respect. They want us to, to grow and learn, to, to gain that wisdom, to gain that understanding, to gain that opportunity, okay, of, you know, leading, okay, of possibly starting your own tribe. All right. And, you know, many life lessons can be learned when you take on this responsibility. It allows you to become confident and allows you to grow. OK, but, you know, that honor and that sign of respect within your community, you know, helps you become a leader. All right. And responsibility helps you into that mantle of leadership. So, you know, with that self-worth and that self-respect that you have, take on that responsibility as you're moving forward. You know, be responsible within yourself, your family you know, and your community and your tribe. So that's the message of the day, tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck, that 10 of bows and responsibility. Uh, leave your comments down below, subscribe to the channel, um, share it with others and like it for me. And this is D for Spirits Path and we'll talk to you out. Take care, God bless and stay safe.